This is a story about risk. I've been told that creativity takes courage. I'm not sure if floating around in my cheap kayak with my camera propped up on a crappy tripod is considered courageous. Risky, maybe. I'm sure some of you would say stupid. Well, I've heard courage and stupidity are close cousins. Either way, we're about to find out. Eh, looks safe to me. I can only do so much testing in the garage, so we loaded up the van with the gear and made our way to one of our favorite camping sites. Three hours later, we were taken in the gorgeous landscapes north of Payette Lake. We only had an hour or so before nightfall, so we spent as much time as we could exploring our surroundings. And after filling our bellies with some warm soup, we settled down for the evening. Waking up to the sound of the forest melts away the worries of life. Taking in those sights, sounds, and fragrances soothes the body. It's no wonder candle companies, lotion manufacturers, and even common cleaning companies try to replicate the fall morning feeling. Anyway, time to try out my courageous or stupid kayak plan. I guess it's a good time to tell you why we drove three hours to try out this harebrained kayak idea. Last year, about this time, in this very location, we had a magical experience with some moose. We're hoping we can duplicate that same experience. It's a bit of a chance considering these guys cover a lot of ground. However, we definitely can't see them from our couch, so I figured we'd give it a shot. Well, here we go, the moment of truth and to be clear, I'm ready to back out of this silly idea if things don't feel right. My YouTube adventures are just getting underway and I'm not sure how I'd bounce back if my gear sank to the bottom of the Payette River. Well, so far so good. Let's see if we can find those moose. So you think I'm crazy? I just can't even believe you sometimes. A portrait of insanity.
didn't we just expect the moose to just be here waiting for us? Me too. Like, where are they? Unfortunately, no moose, but that's okay. It turns out there's plenty to see. You may be thinking, not the greatest payoff for such high risk. Yeah, if getting a perfect shot of a moose was the only metric of success, you're probably right. But I felt like this was a total success. I did gain some confidence in my rig job and, well, that counts for something. After a couple of hours on the kayaks, it felt pretty good to be out on our feet again. The thick forest was brimming with life, so we set out to explore. It didn't take long before we stumbled across a bird we hadn't seen in years. The pileated woodpecker. What a beautiful sight. I've learned through wonderful experience that a little bit of risk or courage can cultivate some magical moments. I encourage you to take some risks. Try something new. I'm not saying my kayak idea was very smart, but it made for a great memory. Hey guys, thanks as always for watching. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to join on for future adventures. We'll see you next time.